Brain Scratchers, John Lorden here from Austin. First time I have been to Texas and getting here was its own little adventure. The first plane that I got on, uh, we were sitting there and it was taking a little too long. And all of a sudden the pilot gets on and goes, well, everyone, just to let you know, the engine's fine. The starter for the engine is fine, but the switch to start the starter for the engine isn't working. <laughs> and then we learned that American Airlines, uh, that's not their home where, where I was flying out of. So they didn't have any parts there. So they deboarded us and then the entire flight was a mad scramble to other stations trying to get rebooked. By the time I was helped, the, the bookings directly to Dallas were all taken. Thankfully, I got on the phone with a very helpful agent and she was able to get me lined up for jumping through Charlotte. So I spent a little more time in the plane, stopped by, uh, I guess over in Danielle's neck of the woods, but I didn't get to say hi, unfortunately. <laughs> I was only there for like literally 40 minutes, ran off that gate, ran onto another, hit that plane, got here last night and um, this is the morning. I'm just getting ready to go downstairs to load in for the day. And I wanted to show you guys what I brought. This is all stuff specifically for CrimeCon. That down there is my Lord Arts poster. It's gonna be on the front of the table. Over here, all kinds of giveaway stuff. We've got refrigerator magnets, a few different kinds. We have the Seriously Mysterious ones and then the Lord Arts ones with Brain Scratch, Searchlight, and Case Craft logos. We've got some Searchlight pens left. Those are those cool ones that light up when you turn them on. Um, also, the new Lord Arts puzzle pens. Uh, Sharpies, of course. Might want to sign an autograph or two while we're here. Uh, signature cards. We've got this great one that is crime or crime after crime. It's case cracked with Christy and I. Uh, so we've got those. I've also got a special limited run of uh, Crime Scene, the Netflix project ones. And if there's any of that stuff left over, you might want to jump into a secret studio because I'm pretty sure I'm going to blow those out there. Case cracked pens. These are super cool. Let's see if I can get to one. See if I can get one out for you guys. There we go. Official case crack logo on it, but it's also temperature sensitive. So you hold it for a couple seconds when your finger comes off. You can already see on this one, it's turning yellow where I was holding it. Temperature sensitive case crack pens. One of the things I'm kind of proud of, but most proud of are these two items. And man, after that plane switch thing, I was sweating like, are these things gonna make it? I had to check this. This is the Brandon Lawson six foot poster that's gonna be at the table for the Missing in Texas table that we helped. Uh, and a big thank you to CrimeCon also for, for allowing us to do that. But in here also, missing persons flyers and kind of smaller signs that I'm gonna have on my table uh, for two cases. Also uh, the Jason Landry case is one that I'm really trying to push when I'm here because he disappeared just about 40 miles away from where CrimeCon is happening right now. So honestly, most proud that these items are here. I made it in one piece. Everything made it here with me. We're going to have a great show and uh, I'll try to get some more clips to show you guys. So stay tuned. Special behind the scenes access at CrimeCon. No one is here yet. This is Podcast Row. It's going to look very, very different over the next few hours. Um, but I'm really proud of who I'm sitting next to. This is going to be a great time. Stephanie and Derek. Right across. True crime all the time. True crime binge. True crime garage. They should have put them on the corner because they're going to have a huge line that's probably going to wrap all the way down there. Crimepedia. But over here... My buddies from Generation Y. Voices for Just, do I know that host? That's right, Sarah Turney, right next to Lord and Art's YouTube. Got all my stuff to get set up. Time to get to work. Okay, I've been working hard 
for at least the last 10 minutes, maybe 15. And here's the official reveal. There it is, the Horton Arts table. I'll be on this side, the lovely Christy Arnhart with the new case crack temperature sensitive pens will be on that side. Day two at CrimeCon, and what is it like? Well, at least half the day yesterday, I was watching Sarah Turney's live streaming. Hi. I am, this is my TikTok live stream, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and a very important delivery happened last night. The amazing Christy Arnhart is here. Hello, I finally made it. <laughs> she finally made it. What do you think so far, Christy? Oh, I love it. I love everything. Everyone is so nice. It's so neat to meet all of these people. Yeah. It's incredible. And who, to see the cases. Who have you met so far? Well, I've met Sarah Tay. I've met Dr. Shiloh. I've met James Brenner. Yep. It has just been a lot of fun. And even fans from the shows. It's been very nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. We're just starting with day two. We're going to see what else happens. Say bye to them. Bye-bye. Well, it is now Sunday. It's officially winding down, though we do have another hour of podcast row that's supposed to be open, so I think people are going to pop back up here. Uh, Saturday was the big day. Long day. Met a bunch of people. Uh, of course, got to finally meet Christy Arnhart. Got into a session, two sessions, I think, that we actually checked out yesterday. Um, but so far this morning, uh, kind of a little bit of a... Um, big thing happened for me yesterday. I got to meet Megan Good from The Charlie Project. And Megan, uh, I talked to her for probably about an hour yesterday. Uh, she was a little nervous about a big presentation that she was doing here at CrimeCon this morning. And of course, she did amazing. She did so, so good. It was really uh, inspiring to hear her story, um, to know that she's a one woman show that has been keeping the Charlie project going for years. And I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. Uh, really, really happy to have met Megan and, and to be able to check that out. So, um, I think we're getting close to the end of it all. I'm starting to feel a little bit of the sadness. There's always this like post con let down, you know, you get around people that, you admire and you get to meet them and you're interacting with people that know you and love your work and then all of a sudden it just disappears into the vacuum of the past but uh, there's always next year Las Vegas Nevada from what I understand is gonna be the last weekend in April hope to see you guys there <laughs>